Hello students, you guys get to see a little bit of my kitchen today as we set up our osmosis lab. If you guys remember from your notes and your PowerPoint, osmosis is the movement of water across a semi-permeable membrane. We're going to be taking a look at it today using carrots. Um, I have already chopped up some carrot slices and I've got them to be at 0.6 of an ounce. Um, each of them weigh the same before we go ahead and get started. Um, and what we're going to do today is we're going to put one into salt water and the other into just tap water. And so I'm going to start by getting a tablespoon of salt. I've got my salt off camera here because it's actually holding up my phone to film this. So one gets salt. The other is only going to get water. Got a jug of water here. Um, distilled water actually. So I'm going to put distilled water in one. Distilled water means it has nothing else in it besides water. Okay, we're going to fill that up about halfway. And the other has the salt in it. Okay, and we're going to fill this up again about halfway to dissolve the salt. Okay, so our two trials are now set up there. Um, remember, our carrot slices each weigh 0.6 of an ounce. Okay. Yes, I weighed them out and everything for you, so go ahead and make sure you drop that in the starting weight place. All right, so one piece of carrot is going in our distilled water. One piece of carrot is going in our salty water. And I am going to put lids on both of these. And they are going to sit on the counter overnight. And I'll come back to you guys when uh, that time is up and we'll re-weigh them. Okay, we are checking in on our osmosis lab, and as a refresher, osmosis is the movement of water across a semi-permeable membrane. In these jars, we have our carrots each weighing 0.6 ounces. Um, when we started, we're going to take them out and we're going to re-weigh them today. Um, we'll start with our salt water uh, carrot here. Get them out. So our carrot that was in the salt water is right here. Um, looks about the same as it did going in. It is a bit more flexible, as you can see. Um, structurally a little more flexible, a little bit softer to the touch. We'll let that dry for a second. Get the scale to turn on. Okay, um, and place it on the scale. And it is weighing 0.4 ounces this time. So 0.4 ounces is where it is ending up after approximately 24 hours in a salt water solution. And it started off at 0.6 of an ounce. Our second is our distilled water um, trial. And I'll tell you right now, this one definitely looks a lot different. Um, it was one solid piece going in. It's still a single piece. However, you can see that it's broken up. It looked very similar to this one going in. Um, it has split and cracked and all that. It's very, very hard. Definitely not as flexible as our salt water specimen. And I'm going to place it on the scale, and it is still reading at 0.6 of an ounce. It is still at 0.6 of an ounce, um, but it has drastically changed in what it looks like. You can con compare the two specimen. They both started off looking like this, just a single chip of carrot. This one has expanded, exploded kind of thing, split open. Um, so there's your two comparisons. This one did not gain or lose any weight, um, but did change shape. It's still 0.6 of an ounce. This one here, a lot softer, came out of our salt water solution um, and is down to 0.4 of an ounce. So it lost 0.2 of an ounce. So distilled water, salt water. Hopefully that lets you guys kind of draw some conclusions um, about osmosis, meaning which direction the water moved. I'll tell you there was water movement, okay? There was water movement between these carrots and their environment, whether it was from the environment to the carrot or from the carrot to the environment. I'll let you guys come with that conclusion based on what you see about our carrots here.